Hey scientist, I'm Daniel Olivas, NASA astronaut, and I'm here today to help you feel a little less stuck at home. Today I thought we would explore the world of engineering. Now, what is engineering? Engineers take imagination and they turn it into reality using the laws of physics and the natural world around them. There's all different kinds of engineers. There's chemical engineers, mechanical, electrical, civil, computer, and all these engineers create pretty much a lot of the things that we interact with on a day-to-day -day basis, from the cars that we drive, the computers that we use, to spaceships, rockets, and even rovers. In fact, I was fortunate enough to actually work at Jet Propulsion Laboratory when the United States landed its very first Martian rover on Mars. This was in 1997. The Martian rover's name was Sojourner. Since then, we've had three other rovers land on Mars, Spirit, Opportunity, and Curiosity. Each rover has lasted longer and longer because we've gotten smarter about how we build these rovers. Curiosity, in fact, is still today roving Mars, doing all sorts of science experiments. So I thought today, as we explore engineering, we would build our own rover, just using the things we have around our house. Now I say, how am I gonna build a rover? Well, remember I said engineering was about taking imagination and turning it into reality? Well, we're gonna use our imagination today to come up with a really cool rover just by using stuff that we have around the house. So, come with me. Come on. Sorry. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go to my workshop. Come on. This way. Don't fall in the pool. Okay, scientists, here we are. We're in my, uh, my workshop. Um, you don't necessarily have to have a workshop, but it is very important that you have your, your necessary your work gear. So make sure you have your your helmets so that you can build your your, um, your probe and your glove. Not really. You don't need any of this stuff. You can do this with any of the stuff that you find around the house. So let me show you what I picked up. Got boxes. Probably have a bunch of boxes around the house. I've got some tape. Uh, what other kind of stuff I'm buying? Um, I've got you know some old. Some tin cans I've taken the tops off of, um, some bottle tops, all sorts of really cool stuff. And really the only thing you need, scissors, tape, and maybe even glue or a hot glue gun. Okay, let's get started building our probe. Now scientist, I've decided that my rover is going to be a little bit different than other types of rovers. This rover is going to be one that we can send to Mars first. And then once it gets there, it can do a bunch of science, but it's going to wait there for astronauts because that's really what this rover is going to do. It's going to be an astronaut. It's going to be a rover that astronauts can drive. So scientists, something else that's pretty cool to do, and make sure you do this with the permission of your parents and maybe even have your parents help you, is sometimes if you have things around the house that don't work anymore and maybe you're just going to end up going into the trash or into the, the junkyard, like this little mouse, this mouse is broken. I'm going to tear this mouse apart, and it gives me the opportunity to see what's inside to see how a mouse is actually made. You can try that with other things around the house to help you find really cool stuff to put on your, on your rover. Okay, so early on, you saw where I had this little mouse that was broken. Uh, this was the electronic boards that was inside. I think it's actually kind of cool, and I know that my, my rover is going to have to have electronics on board, so I'm going to use this one to simulate the electronics that ultimately will help drive the rover.
So you can see I found in my drawer an old pointer. It's telescope's out. It's called a telescoping pointer. Goes back in. This is going to be my robotic arm. scientists I've spent a few minutes here about 30 minutes or so uh, with just a bunch of stuff that I had around the house and I have built my new Martian Rover next generation so let's talk a little bit about it uh, you can see here it's covered in silver okay and that's going to help protect it thermally so it doesn't get too cold or too hot a power supply up here in front of the car I also have a little flashlight here little works and that way the, when the astronauts get there they can drive at night. Um, I also have a an extender. This pointer here is actually part of a robotic arm. It goes out really far so that the astronauts stay away from things that are dangerous. See I've got a little radar dish here on top. This is going to help them communicate with the mothership when it comes time to when they have uh, findings. I've also got a, a a pincher here that helps them when they're doing the geological exploration of Mars so that they can actually dig into the, the uh, rocks that they have. Uh, we obviously have the little seat here for the astronaut. Once the astronauts get there, they can they take this rover out. See, I also built a little grappling hook complete with rope. So this is so when the astronauts are going to go out and explore and if they got to climb on top of a mountain, they can throw this grappling hook up, up on top of the mountain and work their way up. You can see here, I use for the wheels, I have just the lids of uh, tin cans. I also, on a special rover, I actually have a propulsion system. This way, in case the astronauts get into danger and they need to get back to the ship very quickly, they can fire their rocket engine here in the back and they can help uh, get back to their, their uh, base station before they have any, any problems. Um, and you can see here, I use my imagination to come up with all sorts of really cool different things. Oh, also this right here. This actually is a water finder. It's to help the, the astronauts actually find where the water is at. So this turns and helps detect where the water is located. And obviously we'll steer steering wheel here with some solar panels on top. So scientists, I encourage you, as you start building your rover, use your imagination. Because remember, this is the very first step in engineering. You have to think it first, and then you can build it. So think it, collect some stuff, do a little prototype, and then start working on trying to figure out how we're going to build your rover. Thank you. to visit our website Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. for more stuck-at-home science activities.